everybody, and welcome to the Monday edition of Midday. I'm Melanie Lawson, and we hope you and your family are staying safe at home. Here is your update on the news today. Arizona's governor has just announced that schools in Arizona will be closed through the end of the school year. Their online learning programs, however, will continue. And local breaking news, Brazoria County just announced its first COVID-19 related death. Officials say the woman who passed was between the ages of 75 and 85 and lived in Pearland. Well, a mandatory 14 day quarantine is now in effect for anyone who drove or flew into Texas from 11 states around the country, and that includes Louisiana. Now that order does not apply to commercial drivers, to military members or first responders. But travelers who don't fit those categories who came in from those locations must register with the Department of Public Safety. If they violate that order, they are subject to fines up to $1,000 and jail time up to 180 days or six months. Well, two Metro employees tested positive for the coronavirus, and one of them is a driver. Metro is now asking people who rode on that bus to closely monitor themselves for symptoms. For all the information you need, go to our website, abc13.com. The U.S. Naval Hospital Comfort has arrived in New York City today. It is being used to treat non-coronavirus patients as the city's hospitals fill up with infected patients. The military says similar ships are being deployed to the West Coast. We already knew that, but they're also coming here to Texas and to New Orleans. A shopping mall in Wuhan, China has reopened today. A small sign of hope there. Traffic, though, is still light because many people are still too scared to leave their homes. Now, Wuhan, as you might remember, was actually the epicenter of the coronavirus, really where many people believe it began. The city continues to be on lockdown. It has been for months, but restrictions are slowly being lifted now that it appears the spread of the coronavirus is slowing down there. The 2020 Olympics in Tokyo was scheduled, rescheduled for July of next year. Now, it was initially supposed to happen this July, but many athletes and many nations actually expressed concern about not being able to train during the pandemic. Well, people are turning to a number of things to help them get through having to stay home or work at home to save lives. And that, of course, includes music. In fact, take a listen. Come on, y'all. I know you're dancing right now while you're listening to it. That's the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music, and they've asked people to record themselves singing ABC by the Jackson 5 and then sharing their songs on social media. Looking good there. Well, an amateur photographer in Washington, D.C. has joined the Front Steps Project. That is an initiative to photograph families from a safe distance as they deal with social isolation. It not only gets your picture taken, but it helps people get outside in a safe way. And it raises money for employees of small businesses, many of whom are suffering greatly during this period. And then outside this hospital in Brooklyn, small messages of hope have popped up to greet medical personnel as they arrive to work. The woman behind the messages is hoping they can help fuel doctors, nurses, and hospital staff as they push forward in what can feel like an endless battle against a terrible, terrible enemy. Well, that is it for now. We hope we will see you later today uh, as we begin online beginning at 3 o'clock. But we're always here for all the latest news here at ABC 13. Have a great day.